Armored Core 6 is not a Soulsborne game. This is a fairly obvious statement that I think anyone who's either a fan of Armored Core or the Soulsborne series or both can hear and generally agree with, right? Different styles of games with different design philosophies, both made by the same developer, but with different goals in mind, right? I think we can all agree on that. What isn't as easy to do, though, in my opinion, is create that distinction subconsciously in your head when you're looking at Armored Core, especially at Armored Core 6, and drawing an opinion on its various design elements and philosophies. And I think that's something that's becoming very apparent as the conversation around Armored Core 6, especially its bosses and nerfs to said bosses, has developed since the release of the 1.02 patch. It's something that I've talked about here on this channel. It's something I've seen a lot of people discuss elsewhere, either in the YouTube comments, on Reddit, on Twitter, etc. And I've had some thoughts brewing about it that I want to talk about, specifically in regards to what people expect Armored Core to be because of what they know the Soulsborne series to be. So today we're going to talk about why there's a little bit of an unfair burden of expectations that's been placed on this game that I don't want to see warp the way future Armored Core titles are made as we go forward. So let's talk about it. Hello everyone, my name is Tom, otherwise known as Titanium Legman. If you enjoy what I do, you enjoy my either discussions about gaming or my coverage of various upcoming releases, my guides, my gameplay commentary, anything like that, a like and a subscription would be very much appreciated. YouTube is my primary focus and it is my goal to make it my full-time career, and any help that I can get growing in this space that has quite a lot of very talented people in it would be very much appreciated, so thank you so much. So what is it that I'm saying here? What is the burden of expectations that has been placed on Armored Core since the release of Armored Core 6? Well, I think that people are approaching Armored Core in a little bit of a biased fashion. Of course, this shouldn't be too surprising. We're all human and biases come naturally to us. Our biases are what shape our views about everything in the world. But even though we can all agree that obviously Armored Core is not Soulsborne, it's not Dark Souls, Bloodborne, Elden Ring, Sekiro, anything like that. When discussing the game, it's very easy for people to fall into the same patterns of discussion that we fall into when we're talking about those games. And it makes sense, right? Both series, both games, however you want to look at it, both styles of game are developed by FromSoft, who are now very well known and almost exclusively known for the way they've transformed the action RPG genre, right? Obviously, they've had releases prior to Demon's Souls and Dark Souls, things like Kingsfield and whatnot, the Armored Core series, obviously. But their legacy now is that of the Soulsborne genre and series. So when a new, quote-unquote, new game comes along, a new title in an old classic series that hasn't seen the light of day in a long time, it's perhaps only natural that, try as we might to separate the two, people can't help but look at it through the lens that has been developed around the Soulsborne series. And I think that has absolutely happened with Armored Core. Leading up to the release of Armored Core 6, there was of course a lot of discussion, infamously, in the media and amongst fans about, well, what is Armored Core going to be compared to the Soulsborne series? How is the experience that has been garnered due to the creation of the Souls series and its various different affiliated games like Bloodborne and Elden Ring and whatnot going to shape the way Armored Core is developed? Is this Mecha Souls is something that people asked a lot and perhaps got clowned on for asking a lot. And obviously there was some concern amongst old Armored Core fans that there was going to be too much influence from the Souls series on Armored Core, that it was going to change, no pun intended, the core of the series from what it was and what people have always loved and wanted to see a return to into something different. And I don't think that that has happened too much. I've spent a lot of time with Armored Core 6 now. I've finished New Game and New Game Plus. We're going to be moving on to New Game Plus Plus very soon. And overall, I mean, this is an Armored Core game. You can see it in its presentation in its gameplay style, the customization of various different cores, the overall themes of the story, and just the gameplay feel. It's definitely a unique beast when compared to, like, the most recently released Soulsborne style title, Elden Ring, right? Definitely two different types of games, if not flavored the same, due to both being FromSoft games. What 
hasn't changed as much as I feel that it needs to is community perception, right? Obviously, we've discussed here on the channel before the infamous 1.02 patch for Armored Core 6 that nerfed, changed, depending on how you look at it, some of the bosses in the game, most infamously Balteus, Sea Spider, and the Ibis series, three of the main story bosses in Armored Core 6. And they were all generally toned down, and the perception was that they were made easier, and in some cases ruined, to make the game more accessible, or to appease you know, the loud minority that was complaining that they were too difficult, what have you. I don't think that that's quite the case. Obviously, I don't work for FromSoft. I don't know what their exact thought process was when bringing these bosses down a little bit. But I have discussed in my previous video about why I think they did do this. I think it's because they wanted to make these bosses fall more in line with the design philosophies of the Armored Core games of the past. Because here's the thing. Armored Core has never been a difficult series in the way things like Dark Souls and Bloodborne and Elden Ring and Sekiro are infamous for, right? Part of the idea behind the designs of those games is that they are hard, that you have to put your head down and bash it against the wall until you can punch through to the other side and continue making progress, right? That's the reputation that those games have, and people who are fans of them very often want that challenge. They want the sense of accomplishment that comes from overcoming an incredibly difficult boss, from finally beating Melania, or the Elden Beast, or Slave Knight Gale, or Medir, or what have you beating those bosses and overcoming that challenge, proving yourself to have the resilience and the skill to get through to the other side and see what awaits you is a coveted aspect of those games. And people don't like to see that touched. I agree. I don't like to see that touched. It's part of the core design of those games, and I think it needs to stay the way that it does. Obviously, FromSoft largely agrees because they continue to make those games the way that they are and don't really bow to the demands of people who want difficulty modes, who want things to be easier, to be more, perhaps, accessible, because that challenge is the point. That said, that has never been the driving philosophy behind Armored Core. Are Armored Core games easy compared to other games just in general, other mech action games, other action games? No. There has always been some FromSoft trademark difficulty, but they are not difficult games in the way that the Soulsborne series is. For example, a well-known Soulsborne streamer that I watch a lot, I talk about a lot on the channel, Elias, Swedish guy on Twitch, very, very good. I recommend checking him out. He played his very first Armored Core game with Armored Core, I believe it was for Answer, in preparation for Armored Core 6. He breezed through it, like crushed it. A man who's not a mech fan and who's never touched an Armored Core game in his life, except for like once when he was very young, from what he said, absolutely annihilated the game. They're not hard. If you have any idea of how to play a FromSoft game, if you have any idea of how to play an action game, if you have those sorts of reflexes and skills, you can come into an Armored Core game and have a pretty easy time of it, especially if you're used to the Soulsborne games. Are there harder games in the series? Sure. Nexus, Last Raven are two that are well known for being quite difficult. Five and Verdict Day have their moments of difficulty. But overall, if you set your mind to it at all, you can overcome the challenges of an Armored Core game. Then Armored Core 6 comes along, and things have changed. Now, instead of just sort of missions and one-on-one -on -one AC duels, occasionally having big set-piece battles like against arms forts and things like that, now we have actual boss fights. Proper, FromSoft-style, Soulsborne-style boss fights. Things like Balteus, Sea Spider, the Ibis series, the various final bosses, all that type of stuff, are encounters that we've never really seen before in Armored Core and that are very familiar to FromSoft fans of the modern era, right? So naturally, when people who come from the Soulsborne series play Armored Core 6, maybe it's their first Armored Core game ever, and they feel a similar vibe in those fights to what they're used to, they're happy. This is what they're looking for, right? This is the challenge that they wanted. This is the kind of head against wall, skill-based challenge that people can't really find in many games outside of those made by FromSoft. So naturally, that defensive nature comes into play when changes are discussed or made to those fights, right? 
There's been a lot of comparisons that I've seen made to the fight against Radon in Elden Ring that was changed. People perceived that as something that was made easier because it was too hard. They wanted it to stay challenging, all that type of fun stuff. And then they see changes made to Malteus, Sea Spider, the Ibis series, and go, oh my god, it's the same thing again. FromSoft is catering to the casuals, they're catering to the people who want the game to be easier, they're ruining the challenge, etc, etc, etc. Because there is this developed over the years bias for FromSoft games equal head against wall hard. And that's the unfair burden, because that's not what Armored Core is. Armored Core, at its core, is a game about customization and adaptability to overcome set challenges that are in place. Challenges that aren't just universally difficult, but that require you to go to the drawing board and think, what do I need to do to overcome this? And that's not exactly how the Soulsborne series works, right? Yes, you have builds and you can customize your characters and you can play the way that you want to in those games, except for Sekiro, which has a very set play style. But it's not about, oh, well, I can't beat Radon. How do I go and completely revamp my build just to beat Radon? That's not how the game works. It's about taking what you've built and figuring out how to deal with that challenge with the tools that you have made available to yourself. Armored Core very much says, no, here's all the tools that you have available. You can't potentially, unless you're incredibly skilled, beat this current challenge with what you have going on right now, take it back to the drawing board, start from scratch, figure out what's going to work. That's where the challenge comes in. It's not necessarily that the game itself is impossible or nearly impossible to overcome. You just need to figure out what the way around the current challenge is. To me, in my opinion, is something I expressed in my previous video, that's why the changes that were made to the bosses in Armored Core 6 were made. To put more of an emphasis on the player's need to build craft and build around the current challenge than to just slam their head against the wall with whatever it is that they built currently to overcome it. And yet, because people have a certain way of viewing modern FromSoft games, especially people who maybe are coming into Armored Core 6, never having played anything else in the series, and just knowing the Soulsborne style of game, bristle when those types of changes are made to bring 6 more in line with its predecessors, with its ancestors. So now we have a situation where people are expecting from to either maybe revert changes or in future iterations or in the DLC, adhere more to that head against wall challenge level that is present in the Soulsborne series with the future of Armored Core, not really understanding what the series is meant to be. And I don't think that's fair. I don't think that's fair to long-term fans of Armored Core like myself. And I don't think it's fair to From. They're allowed to make games with a different philosophy when it comes to difficulty than just what they've done with the Soulsborne series. Not everything needs to be that level of challenge because it's not a hallmark of FromSoft, it's a hallmark of the style of game that Soulsborne is trying to be. Armored Core is a completely different series and a completely different design philosophy. Does that mean that we can't take elements of the style of FromSoft games that we see with Bloodborne, with Dark Souls, with Elden Ring, and bring that into Armored Core? Absolutely not, we totally can do that, and I think we have seen that. The way that the story was created for Armored Core 6. The fact that we have big set piece bosses, big challenging bosses with health bars and phases and all that type of fun stuff that we never saw in Armored Core before and is clearly something that was taken from the Soulsborne series. That's great. I absolutely want to see more of that in Armored Core going forward. But people need to have an understanding of the roots of what the series is. And I don't think enough people are coming at their discussion of Armored Core 6 and the changes to the bosses and the patches that From have made with that context. And I think that that's a problem. What can be done about that? I mean, really, it's just a matter of people educating themselves on where the series came from, what its roots are, and what people who've been playing the series all this time, like myself, know it to be and what we want it to be, how we want to see it develop with From's modern game design sense and their current experience while still staying true to those roots. And that's going to be hard. You know, not everyone's Vati Vidya and going to go out and play every single game in the series to have an understanding of what makes Armored Core Armored Core to be able to better appreciate what the latest entry is doing. But I think if more people can see videos like this, see more discussion from people who've been with the series for a very long time, ever since before Demon Souls was a glimmer in Miyazaki's eye, right? and actually hear what the game is supposed to be, 
and look at it through that lens when discussing things like difficulty, balance, patches, all that type of stuff. Not patches the character, but <laughs> gameplay patches. I think we'll be able to have better, healthier discussions around the game overall. So it's my hope that this video, and if anyone else makes any other content, whether it be written, video content, whatever, about this topic, gets people thinking. And hopefully gets some of y'all to re-examine the internal bias that you have and try to not judge Armored Core 6 based on the trappings and tropes and design philosophy of other games in the FromSoft stable that don't actually have anything to do with it, right? At the end of the day, I think pretty much any game that From makes is going to be challenging, right? They clearly like to make games that actually make the player think, make them stop, take pause and go, okay, what do I actually need to do to approach this challenge, this obstacle that has been placed in my path and overcome it? That's a hallmark of their design, sure. But I'm hoping that fan outcry and discussion doesn't tint the way that From views their various different series and makes them feel like they kind of need to homogenize it to all adhere to the Dark Souls difficulty philosophy. That's my hope, and I'm hoping that we can avoid that. That said, by all means, strike up a conversation in the comments. Let me know what you think about this discussion, about the way people are talking about Armored Core, about Armored Core 6, about its patches, about the changes, about balance, about what we want to see for the future, all that type of stuff because there's a lot of potential for the future for this series. We know Bandai and From want to make more Armored Core games. They've talked about that after the success of Armored Core 6. So as we're going to be seeing plenty of content in this series going forward. So let me know what you think. Let me know what you think about my thoughts. Give me your opinions on it below. Try to keep it civil. Obviously, discussions around things like difficulty and design in FromSoft games can get a little spicy. But uh, try to be understanding of each other and of me and have some good, healthy, productive conversation. With all that said, though, my name has been Tom, otherwise known as Titanium Legman. Thank you all so much for watching. I do very much appreciate it. I hope you all have a good night. Stay safe and healthy out there. And remember, be good to each other. Bye now.